Chris Everett to serve her second serve here as we just start the second game of this match. Glad you could be with us. Second serve. Chris Everett in her 213th career final. Kate Gompert in her fourth. Other left. Second serve. How many times do you see Chris Everett start a tennis match with a double fault? Not often, and she served so well yesterday. Not only was she hurting, serving very hard, but she had a 78% first serve, which is very, very high percentage. It is windier out here today, though, than yesterday. And right now, she is definitely having trouble finding the mark. Please sit down again. You know, as well as she did serve in the, in the singles final, or semifinals, I watched her in doubles, and she three times in one game double faulted. <laughs> they called it out. Love 30. 30. Love 30. serve. So it'll be the second serve for Everett. Kate Gompert said, if nothing else, I'm going to give her a fight. That's the only thing I can really distinguish myself with, is to hang in there and fight every opponent. Broken string. Kate will have to change oh, rackets there. You heard it better. Snap perhaps just on the return. Now that takes somebody who's played the game. <laughs> Consider, I, I would you never have attempted that. Huh? that. <laughs> well, Kate sure did. Yeah, she had no hesitation. You get an almost immediate miss hit so often when that happens. Packed house here. I was listening to some of the fans just this morning saying, we don't know if Chris is ever going to play in the Bay Area again. She says she, this might be her last full year, so we wanted to come out and make oh, sure we got to see her. Yeah, it's been five years. 1982 when she won this tournament. She played for the first time in this area in 1971 and beat Billie Jean King. game finally ends with an errant volley by Chris Everett. Long point. Kate doesn't give away easy points. She just doesn't. She never really overplays. She's always well within herself. Got a chance here for a two-love lead. Gompert lost one chance to score a service break there and go up to love. Not everybody in this stadium yet. We understand the traffic is backed up for miles, and you can see them still winding their way in here from our vantage point. And there you see the traffic.
Oh, that's true. Oh, okay. Forehand down the line, winner, advantage, Comfort. Nicely done. And keep in mind that Chris is facing a tricky lefty. She's getting some uh, some tough lefty angles off of Kate's ground strokes to deal with. That helped open up the the court as well. Tricky and lefty, aren't they one and the same? <laughs> <laughs> we are. We're a cagey breed. <laughs> Another break point. Uh, late, late call. call. Uh -huh. Called by Tom Cook in the chair. Called it a fault. Looked big to me. There's Tom Cook. Chair umpire from Sarasota, Florida. Second serve for Chris. Second time, Gompert is denied the service break. Gompert said the first time that she played and beat her this year at the Virginia Slims of Florida that she saw nothing but ball. She was zoned, but <laughs> last week in Houston, she thought about who was on the other side of the net. after beating Chris in Boca Raton said it was one of those mindless days when I played well and it didn't matter who I was playing. I say again though, that was on a hard court. Last week on clay, Chris won in straight sets, 6-3, 6-3, but said of that match, it was still very tough, very tedious. And this has been a tedious game for Chris trying to hold. What a chance. Another fault. So the second serve for Everett. With the advantage to Gompert here. Oh, very nice. Drop shot from the baseline by Kate Gompert. And what's going on here? Gompert has taken a two-love lead with a service break in the second game of Chris Everett. the story on that Virginia Slums of Florida victory at Boca Raton. Well, if Kate was worried about settling down, that ought to help her, huh? Just a very thoughtful player. She plays in her, on her own time, too. Work to get in position, didn't quite get there, and overshot the forehand. For as well as Chris has played during the week, Kate is playing extremely well here against her early in this championship match. feel privileged to have a seat here, Mary. These people all still waiting to get into the stadium here. And we're in the third game of the first set. Third to 15. Ball was long. Kate Gompert still has one more year to go at Stanford, and I gathered from talking with her last night that she's going to finish up. Kate's an English major. She does quite a bit of writing. Keeps a journal on tour as well. 
She may have something to write about here if it continues <laughs> yeah. like this. This could be a long entry. <laughs> Great drop shot. Great drop volley by Chris Evans. And you'll see her do that a lot. She has such a nice touch volley. As Beverly Bowes found out several times yesterday in the semifinals. shot from the baseline at Gompert. It didn't work. Good point, though. A lot of movement on both players' parts. Chris was really pinning in there in the corner there a couple times early in that exchange. Now a possible service break for Everett here. service as Chris Everett wins game three and trails two to one. We'll be back after these words from your local station.